you know, you know, college football season has just ended. And all I hear about Nancy is this name image likeness stuff all over. Athletes are transferring everywhere, getting these big deals. And, you know, you are the, the genesis of this, the start of this here in California. Kind of how, how did you uh, kind of come up with this? And um, how come your name isn't everywhere on this? You so, know? you know, who would have <laughs> expected the <clears throat> state senator, California state senator uh, from Berkeley, white woman, uh, that I would be the one to basically change the course of student athlete history. And basically, um, you know, it's never, you never do anything alone. There were, you know, that the NCAA was under a lot of pressure from court cases, from, you know, so many things. It was definitely every time you turned on a college sports game, you heard some uh, pundit or announcer, or even this athlete themselves talk about how unfair the NCA rules were about phony amateurism and such. Right. So, you know, it was really, um, I suppose you could say timing is the secret of comedy. It was like, I was a lucky timer, but um, I've actually been thinking about that issue for a very long, long time. When I was a grad student at Cal, I was one of the people that helped to organize the graduate um, union of teachers instructors, TAs, which is now the union that represents um, every type of graduate student employee. And I always felt that, you know, as students, we should be compensated for our work. If the university is, if we're producing something of value for the university, we should be compensated for our work. And I always looked at athletes, I'm like, you know, they're bringing a lot of value to the university. But I had the great fortune of hearing a lecture by Harry Edwards, who is a sociologist at Cal at UC Berkeley. But he was also the organizer of the uh, boycott, the Black Stu Olympic boycott in Mexico City, where the runners from San Jose State, right, yeah. uh, Juan Carlos, uh, Tommy Smith, others, you know, basically, um, you know, said, hey, uh, this amateurism is doesn't work. And he talked about just the way that especially he came from the lens of black and brown athletes generating enormous amounts of profits and money revenue for professional sports for colleges and the fact that they were not adequately taken care of they were exploited and so i looked at it initially from a very um racial uh perspective but over time as i watched as I watched Title IX and I saw that women athletes really get the bad end of the stick. I mean, we don't get fair amount of time in the locker rooms, fair amount of time on the equal equipment, fair amount of time on the fields and such. And then you look at what in March Madness, how they treated last year, the um, women basketball players compared uh, to the male basketball right. players. I mean, it's just outrageous. And I saw that women, they don't even get a chance by and large to go pro. And when they do get pro, they're not even paid at all. So here they are at the peak of their prowess while they're a student athlete and they can't get anything. So, like I said, I'd been thinking about it a long time. And when I first got elected to the state Senate in uh, 2016, I told my staff, I want student athletes to be paid. TAs are paid, you know, others are paid. They, they ought to be able to form a union. And my staff said I was crazy that we would never be able to pull that off. And so each year I would come back to them and say, nope, going to introduce Bill, going to introduce Bill. And they were like, no, no, we won't be able to do that. And I said, okay, you can't tell me no again. You have to come up with an alternative or I'm introducing the bill that I want to. And they are the ones who came up working with other people on the concept to give name image and likeness which i think is a first step it should not be the only step right well it's amazing just kind of seeing these these deals kind of sprout up everywhere and and you know with social media and everything the you know the amount of money some of these uh athletes and many doing, women is, many is women yeah great the large followings they have so yes uh it's going to be interesting to watch right definitely definitely changing the world of college sports and hopefully it will help the cal bears right I hope so, because Cal Bears haven't been in the Rose Bowl since 1959. <laughs> Make sure you just click the button below and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with all our news and updates.